It's a frosty cold morning here at the convent. Something really interesting happened yesterday. A gentleman came to the convent and Ryan spoke to him and he explained something that we didn't know about the convent before and what part of it was used for. So we're gonna talk about that later. But for the meantime, Sean's up in the office working. So let's go and see what he's up to. So I've just scraped this area and there's tape behind it, tape in, and jointing tape and uh, it's blown, it's come away from the substrate behind so we're just getting rid of all the defective stuff and then that will allow for the new stuff to go over and key into the wall correctly. So I've just put the mesh on uh, where there's quite a big gap, just so it doesn't crack again. So I'm outside in front of the convent and I want to share with you what the gentleman shared with us yesterday. So to my left is the apartments and one of them was used for catechesis, which I've got no idea what that is. So I'm going to explain that now. <laughs> catechesis is basic Christian religious education of children and adults. It started as education of converts to Christianity, but as the religion became institutionalised, catechesis was used for education of members who have been baptised as infants. So all of this happened in the 1960s, which is a long time ago. So not only was the convent helping the community with a local hospital, it was also teaching people from the local community or outsiders about religion. So that's very interesting. I didn't know anything about that. So the first stage of the fill-in has been done. And while that's drying, I'm just gonna do some cutting in. Um, so we can go around the doorways, done the ceiling. And yeah, we'll crack on with it. So now I've done the cutting in, we're going to put the skirtings on. But before I nail them on, what we normally do is use a mastic to stick them. And then we fire a few brads in, and we're good to go. Voila, that is the skirting all done. My work here is finito. Today is the 2nd of December, so today we're gonna open another sink trap. We've got my brother Michael here. And Sean as well. What have I got roped into? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so we did this one yesterday, and yeah. today is this one. So this corridor is an advent calendar. The corridor is an advent calendar, correct. Come on then, let's get inside. <laughs> what surprises are in the sink trap today? <laughs> How would you get it tight? It, it'll pull tight on itself. With, as you pull it, it'll tighten up, self-tight. It's not. No, no that way. Spin it up. Let me do it. Hold in the professional. Oh, it's tight that one. Oh, 
See anything in there? Uh, what a disappointment! Oh. I mean, this is a nun's room. Anything could be in this sink trap, but there was nothing today. There's always tomorrow, but we're going to do three on Monday. So we bought a new tool. We call these Stilsons, I think, in England, don't we, Sean? Yes. Yeah, and they certainly work better, but unfortunately, it removed not only the trap but the entire trap. <laughs> So it definitely works well. So we're using this from now on. I was thinking that we could paint it gold, but it's fine as it is, I think. Vintage fabric, yeah, Mike. Well, surely you can do something with that. Not, oh yeah, that, look at that. That's gorgeous, that is. You could make a pair of trousers out of it for Christmas. Cool. <laughs> well, you've never seen nothing that quality. You don't get quality like that anymore, no. do you? <laughs> Thank Christ. It's all very brown and beige. It was the 70s. Bought it. <laughs> I think it was about five years ago, wasn't it? <laughs> Might have been in France. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. See that? Nice Artex, Artex ceiling. Yeah, yeah. That's all you need in yeah. life. A little bit of lino. That one's quite nice, actually. You do a bit of break dancing. Oh, remember back. that as a teenager? Line dancing. Line, line, line dancing? No. no. Break dancing. Break dancing. <laughs> oh, break dancing. We said line, line dancing. dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Get the old cowboy boots on. Why is this floor lower? Raise this floor up. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh. Right, I wanted to see the wallpapers. So Michael's just going to have a look. A secret room that we found. Oh dear. Um, go on then, go on. Go and follow him in. Well, that. Yeah. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Um, that one's okay. Yeah, that's nice. It's, pap it's papier domino dominuti, which means it's actually cut out in squares. Oh, there's a nice one behind the door. Right, so we're currently in the closet. Oh, this one's gorgeous. Look at that. You've got, um, these are, they look like peonies or they poppies, I don't know, with some sort of acanthus leaves. This one's gilt. This one's beautiful. These are hand hand block printed which is before the days of printers they actually had a wooden block with the pattern they dip it in paint and then they press it on the paper and then roll the paper through and then press it again and repeat that's gorgeous that wow. is really gorgeous i wonder if we could reproduce them with some of these and that blue one oh that's fabulous that's very 18th century versailles marie antoinette and what about that oh look at this blue one. Oh, look at all the gilding it's unbelievable Ooh. Oh, yeah, we can't remove it. We're gonna to have to come in. I might have to come in and photograph some of it high resolution and try and piece the pattern back together. I mean, even not as a wallpaper, it might be nice as a print, you know. You could buy just a sort of that size section. Can you see me? Yeah, why are we in this little closet, Ryan? <laughs> just get out. I feel like you're gonna murder me. It's like the chokey. Have you seen Matilda? Yeah, yeah. the chokey. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching today's video. Sean's done a fantastic job in the kitchen. Everything is looking fantastic. There's just a few more little jobs to finish off. I'm really looking forward to them to be finished. Um, tomorrow's the weekend as well. We're looking forward to having a few days off. We're back at it on Monday though, like every other week. Sean, Rick, Steve's at the chateau at the moment helping dad and Duncan's gonna be in as well. Finish off a few more electrical jobs, but yeah. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all on Monday.